Hey everybody, JT here. Hope you're doing well. Today, as promised, I'm going to show you how to use Keynote and mm -hmm with your Elgato Stream Deck. This allows you to control both applications simultaneously without having to worry which window you have selected. Now this was really important when you get into something like a Zoom call where you've actually got multiple windows that you need to manage. Having the Stream Deck allows you to control it all from one set of buttons. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, controlling mm -hmm and Keynote, then uh, head back to my channel and you'll find another video uh, from a few weeks ago where I showed you how to set up Keynote to work natively with mm -hmm, so you can advance through the slides. Uh, if you haven't seen it, there'll be a link at the top of the video so you can, uh, you can check it out there. Now, when I posted that video, everybody started responding to it and saying, um, we have a problem and this doesn't work. Well, the reason it doesn't work is because you have multiple windows. You have Keynote running in one window and you have mm -hmm running in another window, and possibly Zoom running in a third window. And what it is is you're not selecting the right window when you try and advance the slide. So maybe mm -hmm is the front window. You're pressing the right arrow button and your slides aren't moving forward. So this is what we're going to try and solve today. This is the setup. So I've got my Elgato uh, Stream Deck, I've got Zoom Call running, and I've got mm -hmm running in the background. And I just want to be able to control the whole thing directly from the Stream Deck. Now, I should say, if you don't know what a Stream Deck is, this probably isn't the video for you, um, it is just a keyboard that allows you to program the buttons. And it means I can have one set of buttons that I can use during my meeting, and I can control everything from there. And I can have multiple applications all on one screen. So, Let's get into the Stream Deck, let's take a look at the software and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, to make this work, you're going to have to set up some extra keyboard shortcuts uh, in the System Preferences panel. So go to System Preferences, select Keyboard, then head across to Shortcuts and scroll to the bottom to App Shortcuts. This is where you can create specific shortcuts for individual applications. Now you can see here I've created a category for mm-hmm and I've created some keyboard shortcuts. Now, if I head back to my menu here in mm -hmm and go to Presenter, you'll see that for Opacity, I have all the shortcuts already in place. You may see blank entries here, but that means that you can create them. Now, you'll notice the keyboard shortcuts that I've selected, they're not the most obvious keyboard shortcuts, and that's deliberate. I don't want to be accidentally calling these keyboard shortcuts, so I've used all the modifiers. So come up with a set of keyboard shortcuts that works for you, for the controls that you want to use. Some of them have them by default, some of them don't. So you'll have to make sure that you get all of the commands that you want to have a keyboard shortcut. So in this case, you'll notice that what I've actually done here, if I was to create a new one, it will tell me to type in the name of the menu item. When you do that, also type the entire path of the menu. So in this case, presenter, then a minus sign and a greater than sign, size minus greater than 100%. Now, the reason for doing that and taking the extra step is that there are some menu items in mm -hmm that have multiple things that say 100%. So if you were to just type 100%, you might get the wrong one. So you can see here we have presenter size 100%, presenter opacity 100%. So if we go presenter opacity 100%, presenter size 100%. So take the time to fill out these, these full paths when you're creating your keyboard shortcuts. Then once you've created them, do a quick test, run them from the keyboard following the, uh, the keyboard shortcuts that you've put in. When you're happy that they all work, come across to your Stream Deck control panel. Now here I've created a separate folder for my, uh, my presentations, and I've got some controls here for mm-hmm. So I've got my slide controls along the bottom. So no slides, default, full screen. I've got my make me large, make me medium, make me small. And then I've got my opacity. So am I opaque, am I in the middle, or am I off? Then I've also got two buttons for Keynote to advance to the next slide or go back a slide. So let's look at how we set these up. Now these are what are known as multi-actions. So with these, you need to go into the Stream Deck category and select a multi-action and then drag a multi-action into an empty slot. And this is what you'll get. So you give it a name, so we'll just call this test. 
Now I need to drag other actions into here. Now this is the important thing because there are two different applications, Keynote and mm -hmm, you want to make sure that when you run that action that the focus is on the window of that application. So for instance, if I'm in Keynote and I'm advancing slides and I then want to change my opacity, I need to mouse across, select the window and then run the keyboard shortcut. This is why we're going to use multi-actions because we're going to do this in two steps. We're going to add an open command and what that's going to do is shift the focus of the window to that application. So in this case, I'll take open and I'll drag it in. And now when I select that open, it will ask me for a name. So we'll just say open. Mm -hmm. And then it will ask me to choose the application. And this will take me into my applications folder. I will then find the application that I want. So in this case, mm -hmm. uh, searching applications, there we go. So select that. We now have shifted the focus. Now we can add our uh, hotkey. So in this case, we drag hotkey across. Again, we give it a, a command. So let's say, uh, I'm just gonna do a save for now. And then it will ask me to input the command, in this case, command S, to save that particular, um, particular document. Now you can set these up with as many of these as you need. These are this is this is a small script. It's going to run through these sequentially. And actually, when you finish on the front of the stream deck, you'll see a little tick symbol will come up to uh, to let you know that it's completed the script. So let me delete that one for a moment, and again show you some of these that I've created. So let's go to no slides. So in the case of no slides, we want to open the mm -hmm application. Now we're not actually opening it. All we're doing is saying, if it's already open, just make it the focus application. And then we're gonna run this particular hotkey, which I've named 100%, and the command is command forward slash. If we go to the next one, to default, which is what you're seeing the screen here. It's command option, sorry, uh, shift option command forward slash. So again, you can set up individual hotkeys for individual applications. Now, when I've used the keynote commands here for next slide, if I open that one up, you'll notice it's open keynote. Command is forward arrow. So what this allows me to do is now that I'm in my mm -hmm window, I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna go back to my stream deck and I'm actually gonna press the button on the keyboard to advance the slide. Or I'll go back to the slide. So once we've got that work in, we can start to add all of the commands that we want to use. So for instance, in this case, I want the uh, screen to be full screen and I want to disappear. Well, I hope you found that useful. Uh, the Elgato Stream Deck is a really, really useful bit of kit, especially if you're a presenter and you want to keep focused on the uh, on the meeting and you don't want to be looking down and mousing around during the meeting. So um, they are available readily on Amazon. They come in three sizes. The one you see on the screen here is the XL size. Uh, there is a medium and there is a small version as well. So again, no affiliate links, no nothing. Elgato aren't paying me to make this video. Um, if you want one, go find one. I hope you found this useful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. And if you do give me a thumbs down, please let me know why so I can make the videos more useful for you next time. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.